So, hi, it's me again. Um, so I got this new tripod thing and I'm trying to figure it out. Oh my God. All right. Um, when I start talking, I just can't stop. Um, I want to talk about Butterflies and Bravery podcast. Um, so before I forget, click the like and the buttons and the things and the algorithms. Thank you. You're awesome. Anyways, hi, I'm Sarah. Um, so recently I interviewed on a podcast called Butterflies and Bravery. It was started by two ex COG, Children of God cult ladies, um, Jemima and Whisper. And they started it fairly recently, I think four, maybe five months ago. And these ladies are so friggin' awesome. They are in the top 200 in the U.S. for documentary podcasts, which is amazing. And they rank even higher in a whole lot of other countries across the world. So I am, I was so, so thrilled to interview with them and they got all the setup and here I am forgetting to put in my headphones again, my mic thing. Oh my God. I'm such a hot mess. Um, give me one second. This technology stuff. Is it good? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, they had me on and it was wonderful. And we talked of course about my favorite subject to broach depression and suicide. Um, and inequality in the world and all sorts of fun subjects. Um, I was going to do a video that week and I just, I feel like I come off like I have this massive ego. I really don't. I was so excited to be welcomed on their show and for them to reach out and ask if I'd be interested. And I was like, oh my God, I can't wait. Yes, please. Um, me talk? No. Um, and it felt like just having a conversation with old friends and I think they maybe asked me one or two questions, but mostly the chatter just flowed and it was wonderful. Um, I've never met either of them in real life, but I have interacted with them for quite a while, um, years on social media and such in our private spaces. Miss Lady, come here. Oh my goodness. The dogs, they know how to edit, which is awesome. Um, apparently we had quite a lot of filler words like, like, um, things like that. I feel like I probably contributed to, contributed to quite a bit of that. Miss Lady, come here. Lady. Oh my goodness. Come here. Lady, come here. Thank you. Let's not cause a fight with the big girl. She's just chilling. Ah, puppy dynamics. Yes, hi, Miss Omi. You are such a lovely girl. Oh my goodness. So huh, back to Butterflies and Bravery. They have this phenomenal podcast. Come here, Omi. Come here. Come on. Sorry, dogs. Um, I should always wait to settle them in, but they're never fully settled. They're always such busy bodies. Um, yeah, they do this. I think they're on episode 22. This week they released an interview with another um, friend that I've never met named Joe and about his experience with the cult. And I want to link, um, I originally was just going to link my video and you all can, or my podcast is a podcast, not a video. I was going to originally do this video last week when mine got released and I just didn't feel super motivated to like self promote. Um, but I will link my video because if you're part of my audience, you might also be interested in what I had to say on their podcast. But um, I do reiter reiterate some of the things I already talk about on this channel. But today they released their interview with my buddy Joe. Um, we are loosely acquainted through, again, he's an ex-cult member. So we interact in a lot of our private spaces and he is a phenomenal person. There are, he's the 22nd episode. I was the 21st. And so there are 20 other episodes with some phenomenal people, um, including one with one of my sisters. And there are, yeah, there's just a whole lot of content there from a variety of perspectives and a lot of people who experienced trauma. i believe so far all their interviewees came from our cult, but I'm not positive. I haven't listened to every single podcast because I'm not a huge podcast person myself, but I'm starting to become one. Um, it's just really honest, frank talk about past experiences, how you move forward in life, um, how you deal with previous traumas, um, you know, backstories about our childhood, how we left the cult, how we've acclimated in the real world or 
failed to acclimate in the real world. Um, what our experience is, there was something specifically that Joe was talking about today. I, I'm mostly done with the podcast, but I got interrupted by a call from a friend. Um, but he was talking about shit. Now I lost my train of thought. Um, he was talking about when you live your life in default, that was it. Um, a lot of people don't analyze why they live their life the way that they do. It's just what they know. And for us, we can't really default to how we were raised because it was a whole lot of backwards and twisted and upside down and inside out. So we had to wipe the slate clean and we had to start from scratch. And Joe says it better than I can. So check out his podcast. I think I'm going to link his first and mine second because yeah, y'all have heard me talk long enough. Um, so Joe's podcast will be linked first if I can figure out how to do that. I might accidentally flip it because me and technology just don't get along that well. But anyways, he was talking about how, yeah, we had to just wipe the slate clean and start from scratch. And so what, how we interact with the world and we don't default to anything because our childhood just raised us so wrong that we don't default to that. We have to figure out and analyze how we react to everything and what our view is on everything. And that is something that I've done. And that is something, so I'm like very <laughs> introspective because I've had to be, because you just can't just default to what you were raised with. It's just not possible. I mean, you could, but uh, there's a reason we left the cult. Um, but yeah, these, these ladies are awesome. They talked me up so much in their little thumbnail thing about how I'm some beacon of brightness in the shadowy darkness of suicide and grief. And I don't know. Um, I, it's awesome that there are people who think that highly <laughs> of me out there. I don't know that I'm a beacon of anything because I'm just trying to figure out why my lungs keep taking in oxygen. I don't know. I'm muddling through each day and I'm rambling on, on random videos that some people watch, not a whole lot. It's cool. Um, this was mostly a project done for myself. The biggest reason why I would love to have new subscribers is just because maybe I could help someone. I don't even know if I could, but it would be awesome if I can. Um, and I think that's the primary motivation for these two lovely ladies to be doing their podcast is because we all have our own unique individual journeys in life and our own unique experiences and difficulties, challenges, and struggles. But how we respond to it, that's also, you know, that's the part that you can own. You can't affect everything that happens to you in your life, but you can affect how you respond and react to it and how you move forward from it or how you move onward. Um, you know, you can't just leave things in your past. It's always a part of you, but you can find a way to progress somehow and to keep taking that one step in front of the other another thing joe talks about he's very intuitive and has a lot of great things he talks about <laughs> um man he should be on the channel i don't know how to invite guests and he's all the way in australia so i don't know how to do that i will figure that out and maybe like do picture in a picture interviews with other people because that would be awesome that y'all don't have to just listen to me ramble on about blah, 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 adhd and depression and shit um but yeah um give them a check it's if you like listening to podcasts and if you like you know it's a great thing to listen to on your way into work or maybe on your way home from work in case it's going to make you a little depressed or um but I think overall, one of the big overarching messages, I think, in all these is that we all came from some really rough backgrounds, but somehow we're still existing in the world and still being some form of productive members of society. Um, people keep telling me that I'm some kind of, I don't know, I don't know, that I give people hope or whatever. I'm so strong and courageous. And I'm like, I'm just muddling through with a lot life. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know why I'm still alive. Um, but for some reason, my existence is meaningful to other people. And I don't know, maybe remember when you're feeling like maybe you have no real purpose and maybe it's might be a good idea to check the fuck out of this rock that we call earth. Um, I don't know you probably are making a bigger difference in other people's lives than you realize. I keep saying this, but it's true. Um, 
and yeah, it's something I have to remind myself on constantly. I'm not all into the whole toxic positivity shit because that ain't it. But, um, you know, I think people should recognize a little more often that, you know, let people know you've helped me. And I think that's a really valuable thing to let people know because a lot of people are struggling. And if you can let them know like, hey, you helped me this time. That was amazing. Thank you. It's just really significant and it can be a big booster to someone who might need it. So yeah, anyways, I've gotten off topic. Butterflies and Bravery, that I will call this video, that name, go check them out. These ladies are doing some awesome shit. They are just phenomenal and I am so appreciative that they, I mean, they gave my channel a shout out and you know, we'll see if something comes of that. And I told them I'd give them a shout out. I can't send a pile of subscribers to them because I just don't have it to send. But my little, what, 86 subscribers I have now, y'all go check them out, please. If you've never been on this channel and you think that cult shit might be kind of interesting, they talk about cult shit. So like, it's interesting shit. It's dramatic. It's insightful. It's it's just awesome. And, you know, people like the drama and the trauma and all that shit. And so, yeah, it's, I think it's a story of a lot of people who have done some amazing things, even in the face of some pretty harsh hardships. So I don't know if that's motivational or something. That's awesome. They're amazing. It felt like best friends. And yeah, now I'm just rambling and talking about how awesome they are. So yeah, go check them out. I'm going to figure out how to link it. And from linking it, there's a little thing in the top corner that says, you know, um, all episodes. So you can click on that and check out a whole bunch. They have interviews with a lot of other people and it is amazing. Also, if you have Discovery Plus or wanted, you can do a week free trial of Discovery Plus through Amazon Prime. And it only costs like five bucks a month or something if you want to get Discovery Plus. But there is a wonderful documentary there called Children of the Cult, which is very in-depth. It's a five-part mini docu-series. And it is possibly the best one yet. It's very in-depth, has a lot of perspectives. And I think I've mentioned it before, but it is a phenomenal um, little series that very well lays out like what exactly the cult experience was to the best of that words can explain it. You know, you can't ever get the real experience, but, um, but yeah, they do a very good job of explaining it, but butterflies and bravery, check them out. I'm going to put them the link in the thingy and yeah. So I'll see you all later. Ciao.